I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will see if you're waiting? Hi guys, it's me Lani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then you know I F with you heavy. Um, but if you're new here, then hey, welcome. You know, become part of the gang, subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, we have fun over here, period. But um, I just wanted to make this video because obviously I've been on, you know, I've been on telly recently, which I kind of think is a big deal. Let's not downplay it, guys. You know what I mean? I think it's a big deal because it's my first time, like, I kind of feel like it's my first time being introduced to, like, a new, you know, a, a new set of people, like, you know, a new demographic of people. So I think it's a big deal and it's just something to be proud of and to celebrate. Obviously, um, the show is called Tempting Fortune on Channel 4. If you haven't checked it out, then you need to watch it. Do you know what I mean? It's not a boring show. I'm not boring on it. I would never, if, and this is the thing that shocks me, I would never ever in a million years do any project and bore you. If you see that I'm on something, you know you're in for a treat. Whether you disagree or you don't agree with how I act, you're in for a treat because you know, I'm, I'm just never gonna be boring. Like, that's just not me. So, um, anyway, like, make sure you check it out. If you, I know a few Americans or people, like, you know, people from all over the, the world tend to, cause you know, YouTube, the internet, it brings everyone together. So I know a few like Americans do watch my YouTube channel and if, or, or people who live in like Nigeria or, you know, wh wherever. Um, I know that the show is gonna be on Roku in America. So if you can, if you can wait, then <laughs> it's coming to America and you can watch it all legitly. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. It's on Channel 4. There's ways. I'm not here to be naughty, but I know that there's ways, you know? So, you know, do your big one. Use your brain. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to talk about mainly what the day-to-day -day was because I feel like for my supporters, I would really like them to understand what I went through um, because unless you know what I went through, you, you can't understand how difficult, how difficult it was in every way. And when I say difficult, I'm not just talking about physically, I'm also talking about emotionally. It was very, very, very difficult. The whole shebang. Um, a lot of my cast members thought that I found only the physical part difficult, but my whole don't give an F attitude, they thought that that was totally like, second to none for me like it was easy but you have to understand that in real life when you have conflict with people you don't have to live with them yeah you don't have to sleep next to them you don't have to walk with them it was hell on earth it was hell on earth so it was difficult emotionally physically i think it was the only e e e ease there, there is is there any other e besides emotional physically emotionally physically mentally that's it those are the ones they were difficult yeah cool you're a great help by the way anyway <laughs> so um so i'm just gonna start right by first i want to first i want to do i want to do a thank you before i get into the day todays i want to do a thank you to every single person who is just like a genuine wonderful human being and loves to see people win and every single supporter who actually watches my channel or even if you don't watch my channel religiously you're someone who f's with me and you've gone and tuned into a show just because you want to show me love you know what i mean they are so many of you who i asked we made a tiktok page for the show and i asked my supporters to please go support the channel because you know how tiktok is unless the algorithms are algorithm rigor in in like people won't it's very hard to pick something up from the ground on tiktok and make it just like do bits and because of genuine supporters that tiktok channel has done decent like there are i think there's m more than five videos on that channel that are, that are on over um i want to say over 50k and the rest of them are healthy they're sitting at 10k and 20ks like that channel alone not this is not my channel i'm talking about the other channel 
um, in terms of um, views, it's probably on a good 400k, 400,000 people who possibly don't know the show exists. You, you guys have helped me do that. You have helped me show other people like, hey, this show exists. So I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank you for helping my video go viral, the milkshake one, on my TikTok. It's on 1.1 million views. And you know, I know people get millions of views all the time, but because being on TV is a big deal to me, I would want that video to go viral more than another another video. Do you know what I mean? And I just want to thank you guys because you guys really don't understand. By supporting me, even though it's little, by 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 watching my show, by making your mom or your dad or tweeting about it, by commenting under my TikToks, like you don't realize that every little push you do for me puts me closer to my dreams. At the end of the day, that's what you guys are doing for me. You're allowing me to live my dreams. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I don't want to get too mushy because I'm such an emotional person and I'll actually start crying but I, I literally felt so much love more than I could more than I expected and um, that's why I go so hard like when like me like if if I if when I'm on when like when I'm given an opportunity and I know you lot are gonna tune in I think about you guys in the back of my head because I'm like what are they gonna want to see like they're gonna be so disappointed if, on with me if I if I'm dead, like if I'm dead, they're gonna be disappointed. I, I know that. Like, so I always like think about. I want to make you look happy. So I feel like it's just like a it's just like a give and take relationship. Anyway, I'm I'm going on and on and on, but I am grateful. But anyway, day to day of tempting fortunes. Let me tell you, yeah. So the obvious is we walked for five to six to seven hours. Yeah. And every single day and the terrain isn't like straight you would literally literally be so happy so happy ecstatic if it was um a terrain that was flat that was a treat that was a treat a flat terrain babes that uh, let me just push my boobs up god my my fucking tits yeah these fucking tits yeah, um, you would, I used to pray, like, I used to pray for a flat terrain. The terrain, I don't, if, if you guys don't know what a terrain is, I like, I, I, like, I don't mean to be patronizing, but, but it's not like a word that everyone uses every day. Um, terrain is basically like your, what, what was the terrain, how would you say terrain? But no, that doesn't know. It's, huh? Terrain, hiking, I don't know. Um, it's like. It, I've gone on a hike. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's like, it's like. It's like what the hike is giving in terms of if you're going uphill or if you're just on a flat surface. So a, prefer a preferable terrain would be going downhill because that's easy or going on a flat surface. But because they wanted to make it hard, they would make us go on uphill all the time. And then let's just say there's a route to get to somewhere. Yeah, they'll, they'll be like, yep, yeah, make them walk through the thorny route. Yup, yup. Guys, it was so physically exhausting and draining and then i don't think people even fathom yeah forget the exercise yeah little things would get on your nerves and little things would really get to you on like on a mental health level like to the i'm not saying like i was like going through it but mentally you're literally like this is awful because like usually if you're gonna do if you're gonna exercise a lot like if you're gonna walk for i mean nobody i don't know anyone that walks for five hours but let's just say you were going to go for a really long walk yeah you wouldn't go on that walk without deodorant, would you? In the blazing heat. Would you do that? Would you do that? Would you go for a walk without deodorant? In the blazing heat? No. Right. Would you go for a walk in the blazing heat with no deodorant? You wouldn't do that. And at the very minimum, before you go for that walk, would you have had a shower? I just wanna know if you would have had a shower. Maybe you would have had a shower and you would feel fresh but you imagine not having a shower and walking for five to six hours with your hairy armpits stinking because you haven't got deodorant. With the same pair of knickers you've been wearing for five days. You washed them five days ago. It's, it's, it's very unpleasant. It's so unpleasant. And then the thing is, every time you have a break, it's time for lunch. And you, your, your lunch is never a chicken sandwich. Your lunch is never, um, you know, People, people are like, oh my god, rice and beans are not that bad. Rice and beans, when you have it from the Caribbean shop or from your bread or from your mum, it has seasoning in it. Stop it. 
It has seasoning in it. I've seen better people say that. You guys want to have rice and beans with no seasoning. And furthermore, yeah, because I could actually eat plain rice. It wasn't basmati. It was the, the deadest of dead. I don't even know what you call that. The, you know the, fu the fat, hard rice that you can get for 1p from Asda? It was that fat, dead rice that you can get for 1p from Asda. It was hard. It was so, it was gross. It was like 2p Asda kidney beans and 1p Asda rice. You wouldn't even give that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't give it to a homeless person, let's be real with you. It, it tasted like no, nonsense. And then sometimes they would cook it together and it would become mush and you were eating, you were eating um, rice mushy kidney bean porridge. You, you wanna eat that? With no pepper? With no, with, with no sazon? With no, uh, with no chili flakes? That's what you lot wanna eat. Like, stop it. When you have rice and beans, most of the time you lot put coconut milk in it. Like, be, like, I've seen comments like that. It tasted awful, yeah? I wouldn't give it to a dog. I'll be real with you. I wouldn't give it to a dog. There was days where I just didn't eat. On top of that, because of how, um, because of the type of food, you're very constipated. You can't go to the toilet. Okay, so I forgot to add this bit. From a, so, yeah, basically, guys, from an ethical standpoint, I'm not supposed to really talk too much about the cast members, especially the ones I don't like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, but I definitely don't... I'm not fond of a certain someone, but I'm not going to go into it. But I just think that that person is just a bit, you know, like, get over it, basically. I just think that that person needs to get a grip and get over it. Um, and I know that person feels the same and goes around liking negative things about me. So, yeah. So, also, I want to say that, um, unfortunately, like, even though, like, the show's great... <laughs> You know, I was called the B word once or twice, um, but unfortunately, it didn't make the cut. It, I just have I have no idea why not. But um, yeah, I wish you guys got to see that because yeah, I just wish you guys got to see that. But yeah, just thought I should add that in. You can't go to the toilet. You can't. So not only do you stink, not only are you hungry. Not only are you burning in the sun, you're cooking yourself in the sun, you're constipated. It was like, literally, you know I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I, like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Like, you literally, you wanna leave. It was really, 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 really tough. Um, we used to shit in a bucket. Yeah. And pee in a bucket. And you, your name would be on the bucket, and then you would have to go find sawdust, sand dust, not find it, it was there, and cover it, cover it. But then if you wanted to do, go to the toilet again, like if you drank water, you'd have to go in the same bucket where your, your piss and your poo was fermenting in the sun! In the sun! Your poo and your wheat is fermenting, and... I never took a flush for granted until I was there. I thought, wow, I really took a flush for granted. It was gross. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. It was absolutely vile. I'm trying, I'm... We had to, okay, so we got to shower every so often. If you are cool with the cold, then you could have showered in the cold. It's not a real shower, it's a bucket bath. But you could have bucket bathed in with, grab some water and bucket bath with cold water. But we used to get up at like 6 a.m. So it's still cold. In, like it wasn't hot yet. It gets hot around 10, 11. And we, we're ready for our hike by 7 in the morning or some shit. So like you get up and you, you're thinking, and unless you're good, cool with having a cold shower, which I wasn't, you had to stink. Michelle used to do cold showers because she's quite good with the, I don't know, I, I rate her. She used to shower every day with the cold. I couldn't do it. So sometimes when you had a bit more time, someone would boil you water and then you had this soap, this wilderness soap that was just literally like, if you took like a droplet of whatever you bath with, like frigging dove, it was literally like a droplet of the dove and water, it, it was nothing. It wasn't, it was so, it was the worst soap I've ever seen in my life. It had no scent. 
It had no sense to disguise the fact that you stink. It had no sense. It had no sense. So you, you were just, it, you had to really scrub to get the smells out. And then in the end, it would just smell like what? It wouldn't even smell like air, it would just smell like nothing. It would just, not even nothing, it would still smell a bit musty. It was awful. And then the sleeping arrangement, we had to cocoon in this small frigging tent, like six of you would cocoon in this tent. Um, you had to tie up, like get in the tent and zip yourself all the way up. And then like, it was so bad because not every every camp that we slept in was flat so sometimes when you're sleeping you would feel like this because sometimes if you go if you look at grass or you go to the park you will see like the the, the grass is lumpy there's, there's like little hills so sometimes you would sleep and you'd have hills and little lumps digging in your back digging in your in your thigh digging in your bum and then sometimes the the actual um place that you've put the tent isn't even like it's not flat like i've said that already but what i mean by that is it's dipped so when you sleep your leg is up there and your head is down like you're like sleeping at an angle you're sleeping like this who, the f who wants to do that who wants to sleep at an angle have you ever slept at an angle like with your head down like that or if, if, if you want to turn the other way have you ever slept with your your feet going downward so you're sleeping essentially like this have you ever done that have you ever slept like this and then like you're being stabbed with you're being stabbed with different um, thorns and and you're being stabbed with, with the floor lumping into your back have you ever slept like that and then on top of that, if you sleep in the corner of the tent, the, 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 the corner of it, the, the tent starts to fall down on you. So whilst you're sleeping and it's windy, all you're doing is getting slapped all night long here. And the wind is crazy, so you're getting slapped like this all night long. Slapped, 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 slapped all night. <laughs> it's shit. It's really awful. It's awful. And then, in the distance, you can hear monkeys. And you don't even know if they're in the distance. I'll be real with you. Like, they actually sound like they're around the corner. They do, they sound like they're around the corner. <sighs> I don't know what was worse. The, what was hard about the experience is that every single day, without fail, you had nothing to look forward to. Not only was your sleep the worst sleep on earth, worse than, like, people in prison sleep better. Not, then you wake up and you can't have a refreshing shower. You have to put your dirty clothes on and your dirty, stinking knickers and then put on, by the way, when we were hiking, we had these heavy bags. We had to carry our lives in these bags. They were heavy. So you're waddling, waddling, walking with a heavy effing bag for five hours. I wanted to die. I wanted to die. And a lot of people were like, why did you sign up for this show? Girl, I'm not allowed to talk about the casting process, but don't assume for me. Don't assume. Don't assume you know anything about the casting process. Don't assume. Don't assume. Because that's where you're going wrong. Assuming. Assuming. Anyway, it's just, so you're walking for five hours. It's never ending. It's hot. It's hot as F. And then you have a lunch break and eat rice and bean porridge. Rice and bean, bean washy porridge. And then you walk again, you get to your camp, and you have another shitty sleep. And then you have to do it again the next day, and you have to do it again the next day, and you have to do it again the next day. And the thing is the people you're sleeping with in your tent, they don't like you. No one likes you. No one likes you. It was awful. I tried to leave like so many times, but they just laughed at me in my face because they thought I was being dramatic. They thought I was joking. I mean, I'm glad, but um, it is really, really tough. It is really, really tough. And I remember when I just want to explain 
one of the temptations because like you know whatever i wanted a milkshake i wanted a hot chocolate whatever um everyone knows that i wanted the milkshake but i also took it because i didn't f with my group i didn't like them that's why i took it took it I, I got to a point where i was thinking you know what i don't like you lot i'm not gonna try for you lot i don't care if you go home with any money i'm here i'm gonna have a good time period i'm gonna have a good time um so one of the things that I want to, it's not necessarily that I need, it needs an explanation, but one of the things that people probably don't get is um, why I, I wanted my makeup. Like, I want to make it very clear, no way in hell did I think that my makeup would make me look beautiful. No way in hell did I think my makeup would make me look attractive. Get a grip. Get a grip. There is no way in hell I thought that I was going to look len because they gave me my makeup. I had to, my wig became dreadlocks within three days of being there. It became dreadlocks. It became dreadlocks. I used to go in the tent where we, sh we shitted and we washed and I would take my wig off and I would be there in, uh, these are when we had like a later start. I would be there in there for an hour. This is when I got my makeup because there was a little comb in it and I would detangle the F out of that dreadlock. I would detangle the F out of it because I was literally, I looked like a wild, wild woman, yeah? From like, I look like a wild baboon. I'll be real with you. That looked like from, uh, I'm from the caveman times. My hair was dreadlocks. It was matted. I don't know why I did curly hair. I don't know why I did a wig. I should have done braids, but my hair is quite, I've got very, very, is 5C a thing? I forget it. I'm going to say my hair is 6C. My hair is 6C. My hair is quite tough. So I need products. I don't have access to products. Well, I don't understand why people don't understand. I don't have gel, bro. So once, like, my edges start, get a bit fuzzy or whatever, or once my, it, like, my edges are going to start looking like, it's going to look dead. It's going to look dead. Either way, I look dead anyway. But braids or wig, it's going to look dead. Because I don't have products. So when I got my makeup bag, one thing that I had is I had a mirror. So now I'm aware of how clapped I look. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that I can save myself, but without, I, I wanna tell you why I don't regret getting my makeup. Every day until the day I got my makeup, I was putting Vaseline on my lips about 20 times a day because I wanted to have glossy lips because I didn't have lip gloss. Oh my, because we had Vaseline for our feet because your feet in those conditions can get blisters. So you had to wrap your 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 feet in Vaseline so you could they could be a bit like, I don't know what, I don't know what the word is, but Vaseline helps your feet apparently, yeah? So, I- Huh? Reduces friction. Oh, it reduces friction, period. So you do know something. Okay, so it reduces friction. So I put the Vaseline on my lips about 20 times a day thinking, yeah, lip gloss, like I'm looking like a hot girl. Um, and all I was doing is um, the heat. It, um, Vaseline is basically like oil. So heat to oil, you're frying, it's, it's you're cooking. So I, I literally fried my lips um, and then, uh, I don't know what day I got my makeup, but when I got my makeup, I looked in the mirror and I have never seen, I've never seen my lips like that. My lips were black. They were black. No, I don't mean, when I say black, I don't mean as in like a black person because black people are actually brown. I mean black, like this top. My lips were this color. Yeah, yeah. I had fried my fucking lips, yeah? And this is the fucking thing, yeah? Oh, everyone said, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. You motherfuckers never told me that my lips were fucking fried. Did ya? You never fucking told me that. No one told me that my lips were fried. Nobody told me. Because, uh, you know, I'll give it to them. Maybe it's because they're different skin color to me. They don't know that my lips are usually this color and not this color. So if I didn't get my makeup, who knows what would have happened to my lips? Maybe they would have become a raisin. Yeah? Maybe they would have become a raisin and I would have had to cut them off. Maybe. Maybe. I don't fucking know. But the point my lips were the color of this top. I look like I bun weed every day. Every day. And I'm not that girl. I whiten my teeth. I moisturize. I want to look healthy. But my lips weren't giving health. They were giving smoker. So no one can tell me nothing. No one can tell me nothing. No one can tell me nothing. When I saw my lips, the, on that day is the day I realized I'd ruined my lips. And you, and that is why there's an episode because it's coming out after. 
I can't take this. The, the episode, I had a literal, literal breakdown. I I walked around the whole day with pseudo creme, whatever you call it, um, on my whole face. And the pseudo creme was through your feet. I put on my whole blood cut face because I felt like I'd burnt, I'd, I just, what the fuck? I burnt myself. Do you, know, do you guys want to know something? I had, obviously, I had a tan line. I had a tan line on my arm because I used to wear um, that top. That there's a t-shirt I used to wear a lot. It took me four to five months to go back to my normal color. Um, I had really fried myself. Really. Um, obviously, my head looked bad, but out of everything, it was my lips. Like I'll be, but the lips is just a different ball game. Um, I would put lipstick on to make them look more pink than black. But I'll be, I'll be honest with you. If you, if anybody. Actually thinks that I thought I've got because I've seen memes saying like like what's she gonna do put lipstick on a pig what because I'm thick or you know to them fat whatever um, they're making fun of me I even saw a meme where someone said a hippo can't eat a hippo grow up stop laughing oh I thought you were laughing a hippo can't eat a hippo so people were just basically saying that I can't make myself look better and i agree i even said it's the producer i said listen darling you can't put glitter on shit did you hear what i said and i'm talking about myself i'm the shit i am shit you can't put glitter on shit what lipstick and mascara and eyeliner got to, gonna do for me what is that gonna do for me I'm, I, at this point, I need more than this. Like, I actually need, like, my, my skin needs to heal, etc. My wig needs to be not matted. I need a new wig. Like, let's be honest, you know? I need a miracle at this point. This is not normal conditions. Um, if I could do anything different, I would absolutely 100% smuggle um, a bit of concealer and... Um, Carmex, Carmex has SPF in it, so Carmex saves your lips. Um, oh, maybe if I if I could, maybe like a, a brush. This is like before I, I got I got it. I would smuggle all of that in my arsehole. That's the only regret I have that I didn't smuggle it in my arsehole. That is what I would do next time. That's what I would do because that's what makes sense. Have I missed anything out? Have I missed anything out? Mm. In my lips. Yeah, lips, your... Hair of vagina. Yeah. Food, did you do the food? I did food. Food. And... Um... So that's where I'm gonna. I feel like I've covered everything. I apologize if you think I haven't. Um, for any, excuse me, sorry, I'm having hiccups. For anybody who wants to be on telly, um, I do know that some people on my my show, um, every basically everyone gets on different ways do you know that because you can't cast in one way like you want to find the best people for a show so there's so many different ways to cast and um, there's loads of instagram pages for for casting so if you guys want to be on tv just search casting uk on instagram and you'll find some pages and then you just keep up to date with them follow them and they'll give you instructions they'll be like this is how you apply for this new show or this is how you apply for this new show so if you guys want to do that you you, you can do that um whatever so i'm not going to tell you how i got casted um but I'm just telling you how you can get casted. I also want to say that despite what, how many people are mad at me, despite how many people loathe me, obviously I know loads of people love me, but I just want to say like, for me, the most important thing is that Channel 4 watched it and thought, Lani is fantastic. That's all that matters to me. And that you lot think that I'm fantastic. As long as you love me and Channel 4 loves me, I've done a great job. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, until the next video, um, I really hope if you haven't watched Tempting Fortunes, you watch it. And if I haven't answered any of your, like if I've, if I've missed out on certain areas, I apologize. 
yeah, that's all I have to say. But I feel like I've covered everything. I've even included covered casting. But anyway, guys, um, enjoy your week. Love you lot. Until okay. Until next time. Bye. Love you. I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlists In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will see if you're waiting?